Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to find the indefinite integral of this, right, using substitution. So as with the name substitution, we're basically going to be substituting something in here to evaluate this integral. Here we can see that we clearly can't really integrate this using the power rule for integration or anything else like that, right? This looks very difficult to do that. So we have to substitute something in, right? And what we can do is this 5x plus 1, we can basically let this be equal to something, right? So we can basically let 5x plus 1 equal to some sort of variable. So for substitution, it there isn't really exactly a set rule of what you can substitute in and all that. It does take skill in determining as to whether it will work, right? So we're trying to get rid of these x's, right? We're trying to turn it into a different variable. So let's say make a new variable, let u, right, be equal to 5x plus 1. So u is going to be equal to 5x plus 1. So we're going to replace this with u, okay? So um, some people might think, oh, well, why can't we let u be equal to 5x? It's not really going to work because it's going to be u plus 1, right? So we can't really use a power rule to integrate that if this was u plus 1. So it does take some skill or it's sort of like trial and error to, well, not really trial and error, but kind of some skill and some thought into determining what we should let this new variable be equal to in order to make it work. So we let u be equal to this, okay? And then, so the next step, what we have to do is we have to find a derivative of this. So the derivative of this, which is du over dx, derivative of this is going to be 5. Because as shown with the power rule for finding the derivative, we have x to the exponent of 1 here, and we basically bring this down to be multiplied with the 5, right? So 5 times 1, it's so like kind of like 5 times 1, right? And then x to the x one of 1, and then we have to subtract 1 from here, which is going to be x to the x one of 0. So it's going to be like 5 times x to the x one of 0, which is just 5 like that, right, for this part. And then plus 1, the derivative for a constant is going to be 0, so that we don't write anything here. So here we have du over dx equals 5. And what we're going to do basically is we're going to try to find something to replace this dx. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to kind of isolate for dx. So if we multiply both sides by dx, this cancels out, and then du is going to be equal to 5 times dx. And then here we want to isolate for dx, so we divide by 5 and divide by 5, and then dx is going to be equal to du over 5. So now we found our dx, dx is going to be this, right? So we want to plug in du over 5 into this. And we want to plug in u, right, 5x plus 1 into this. So we're going to change everything to u. So here it's going to be 1 over the square root of u. This is going to be u, right? dx is the same as du over 5, so I'm going to write du over 5 right here for dx, okay? And now we have it all in u. We don't have any x's now. Now to make it simpler for ourselves, we can recognize this, right, as 1 over 5 times 1 over square root u. So this is 1 over 5, right? This is this 5 is in non there, so it's 1 over 5 times 1 over square root u, du. And then we take this 1 over 5 out, right? We can take this out. So 1 over 5 times the integral of 1 over square root u du. And then from here, and then from here, we can basically see as a square root of u, right, in the denominator. So it's going to be 1 over 5 times the integral of, let's re rewrite this as u to the exponent of negative a half, because Square root u, right? Square root u is the same as u to the exponent of 1 over 2. And this is in the denominator, right? It's in the denominator right here. So we can change it to negative exponents. And then we write in du just like that. Then now from here, we can use the power rule for integration, right? This is 
the exponent of negative a half, right? So to do that, we must add one, right, to here. And then copy what is an exponent in the denominator. So to illustrate, here's how it's going to look. So 1 over 5 times, we can remove the integral sign when we do that. So u to the exponent of negative half plus 1 all over negative half plus 1 like that. And then from here, this is the integral of that, right? So we have to add a constant since we removed the integral sign and the du. So add a constant, arbitrary constant c, just like that. And then from here, it's going to be equal to 1 over 5 times this, right? So let's make a common denominator for this 1 so we can add the exponents together, right? So it's going to be u to the exponent of negative a half plus 2 over 2. So we have the same denominator. And then same thing in the denominator right here, negative a half plus 2 over 2. So we have 2 and 2, so that way we can add this together. And then from here, we copy this constant c. And so we are going to add the exponents together. So it's going to be u to the exponent of negative a half plus 2 over 2. It's going to be 1 over 2. So it's going to be u to the exponent of 1 over 2, right? As shown from these exponents being combined. And then from here, it's the same thing as the exponents in the denominator. So it's going to be 1 over 2 as well. Here, same as this. Same thing. Then this is going to be added to a constant c. And then we can see here it's division, so we can flip the fraction over. So 1 over 5 times u to the exponent of a half divided by 1 over 2 right from here add c and then next step 1 over 5 times u to the exponent of a half is square root of u so here it's going to be square root of u and then here it's division so to change it to multiplication we just have to flip the second fraction so multiplication so 1 over 2 is going to become 2 over 1 and then add the constant c. And then from here, we just see, oh, well, this is square root u times 2. It's going to be 2 times square root u. So 1 over 5 times 2 times square root u, like that, plus c. And what is u equal to? Well, we want to make this x, right? Because the original question had x, so we're going to have to change it back to x. So u is equal to 5x plus 1. So we have to substitute in, basically we have to substitute u equals 5x plus 1, right? Because u is equal to 5x plus 1, that's what we defined. So we basically need to substitute this back into the u right here. So we can portray this in terms of x. So it's going to be equal to 1 over 5 times 2 times square root of 5x plus 1, right? This whole thing is u, and then plus c. And then simplifying from here, it's 2 and 5. Let's put them in the same fraction. So 2 over 5 times square root of 5x plus 1 plus c. So there we have it. This is our final answer to basically integrating this. Now say we have another question that looks something like this. It does take skill, again as mentioned before, to determine which variables we should let be equal to u, right? So here, right, we can choose variables, choose parts of this expression to be equal to u using a substitution. So in this case, I chose the denominator to be equal to u. So I see I can differentiate it, and then when I differentiate that, it can be like the same exponent as the numerator, because here it's 2x to the exponent of 1, right? 
So if I differentiate this, it's going to become something to x mod, like x takes one of one, right? Because using power rule, this is going to decrease this two is going to be subtracted by one. So that's how I use my strategy. So I'm going to let I'm going to let my u be equal to 2x squared plus 2x minus 9. So I'm going to try to replace that denominator. So du over dx is going to be equal to, if we basically differentiate this, bring this 2 down, it's going to be 4, right? 2 times 2 is 4, and then this is x to the exponent of 1, because 2 minus 1 is 1. This here, it's going to be... This is to the exponent of 1, so we subtract 1 from here, it's going to be x to the exponent of 0, which is 1. And then that's going to be multiplied by 2, right? This 1 is brought with the 2, 2 times 1 is going to be 2, so it's going to be 2 right here. So this is my derivative of u. And then from here, we can notice that we want to substitute it in for dx, and also this part as well, because this part's going to become u. Right, but in this part we want to get rid of the x. So let's try and manipulate this to make it match with this. So I can see that if I factor this, right, if I factor a 2 out of this, it's going to become 2x plus 1, right? Because 2 times 2x gives me 4x, 2 times 1 gives me 2 right here. So I get this 2x plus 1 right here. It matches. Perfect. So now I'm going to manipulate it so I can basically substitute it. So I'm going to bring this, uh, let's first start by multiplying both sides by dx. So doing that, this is going to be du, I'm going to move this dx to the other side, multiply by dx on this side, right, and then multiply by dx on this side, like this. And then what's going to happen is, this is du, and then we want to um, we want to get this part of it, right? So this part, I want to substitute it in this part because there's an x here and also u is going to be here. So we want to get rid of the x. So I'm going to take this 2, right, and divide it on both sides so it matches up with this right here. So it's going to be du over 2 is equal to 2x plus 1 times dx, just like that. This is multiplied by 2. So the opposite of multiplication, division, so do that. And then this whole thing, right, can be replaced by du over 2, right? So this whole thing right here is replaced by du over 2. So I'm, because this here, right, is the same as this. So I'm going to write du over 2 in place of that. Actually, first, this here is u, right? So I'm going to write 1 over u because this is u, right, in the denominator. And I'm going to multiply it by du over 2. So substituting for what I circled here. du over 2. Just like that. And we have our integral and a d something, right? d some sort of variable. Perfect. That works. And then now we can rewrite this as... We write this as 1 over 2 because this 2 is in the denominator. 1 over 2 times 1 over u du. So it's more organized now. We have 1 over 2 and 1 over u. And we can see, we can take this out. And when we take that out, it's going to become 1 over 2 times the integral of 1 over u du. And the integral of 1 over u is basically the ln of the absolute value of u. So it's going to be ln absolute value of u, just like that. And once we remove the integral signs, we need to add our constant c, like that. Okay, and then now we have our u right here, right? What's u again? We have to make this in terms of x because our original question was given in terms of x. So I'm going to substitute this back into u because u is equal to this. So substitute, we're going to sub, sub u equals 2x squared plus 2x minus 9 as shown from here because u is equal to this. So I'm going to take this and plug it back into u right here. So doing that, it's going to be 1 over 2 times ln absolute value of 2x squared plus 2x minus 9, right, plus c. Just like that. So absolute value here and absolute value here. And then 
if we were to rewrite this a little bit nicer, we can write the two in the denominator like this. Just like that. Plus C. And there we have it! So this is basically how we found the integral of the following using substitution. So as you can see, we remember we must plug in this, right? Basically in terms of x, right? We can't just leave the answer with the u, okay? Keep that in mind. Very, very important because the original one was given in terms of x. Alright, so this is the end of my YouTube video. If you found this helpful, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And furthermore, if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And also let me know in the comments down below onto your thoughts on the YouTube video. Anyways, I hope you have a nice day. Bye!